Sunny skies but cold temperatures and a windy day greeted the riders as they signed in for the Kurna Brussel Kurna, the second race in the Flemish opening weekend after Omlop at Nusplad and heading into a really well-known but difficult course. 193 kilometres leaving Kurna, heading in the direction of Brussels but not quite getting there. Taking on 13 climbs, several other cobbled sectors as well. The final climb though, coming around 50 k's before the finish, that the Klersberg after trips up the Kralsberg as well, Bertenauter, the Tiekenberg to start the party earlier on in the day. A final lap around the city of Kurna. One for the sprinters often, not always though. Six men got away in the break, including Takofora Horn for the second year running. They'd have a maximum gap of around seven minutes, but that would soon start to come down and at quite the pace as well. Jombo Visma, after having won in some style on the opening day in Ninova, were looking to do the same again. There were moves behind, there was the odd crash that held up riders just behind that as well. Typical Flemish racing through Flanders' windy fields. The gap was down to 30 seconds when Jombo Visma made that big move. Christophe Laporte just letting the gap go. Three Jumbo Visma riders making it to the front. Matej Mohoric coming across. Peter Sagan was there briefly as well. Tim Wellens managed to make it. Michal Kwiatkowski on debut, one of several riders going south. The break was reached. Taco Vodohorn was still there. And he'd still be there when Tim Wellens decided to attack. That did for Jan Tratnik, but for Hoidonk and Benoit managed to hang on. Mohoric would be there as well, and we soon had our famous five at the road, with over 60 kilometres still to go. Arnold de Lee still in the bunch behind. Fabio Jakobsen was there as well. There was another group at over three minutes, and they were never going to be coming back at this stage. The second group would try. Dully and Jakobsen committed their men to the front of the race, notably Brent von Moore and Florian Seneschal. But would it be enough? Didn't look like it for a while. There was around a minute of a gap as the bell rang. One more lap to go, 12 kilometres at this point, and they wouldn't start messing about until just under 5k's to go. For Hoidonk tried his look. He'd try it once and then try it again. Wellens, Van der Horn waiting. Matej Mohoric forced to do the chasing down on a couple of occasions. Those attacks ending with one kilometer to go, but in the final few hundred meters, Benoit ghosting up the right hand side, got a gap, got away, and it would be two victories out of two races in opening weekend for Jumbo Fisma. Fantastisch Benoit ending Belgium's longest ever wait for a home winner in Kurna. And it would be a 1 2 as well, because Nata Verhoidonk would come in behind, beat Mohoric in the sprint, and it would be a 1 2 for Jombo Visma. Mohoric with the third place on the podium, followed by Taco Vodderhorn and Tim Wellens. <laughs> Benoit's first ever win on home Flemish roads, just a fourth in his career, and to unline the superiority of his Dutch Jumbo Visma team, the Frenchman Christophe Laporte even won the bunch sprint behind as well. Three riders inside the top six, two on the podium, the rest able to celebrate a job very well done. Strengthening numbers, and Jumbo Visma the team of the moment. Tish Benoit with a dream win. A man from Ghent winning just down the road in Kurna. Benoit, Van Hoydonk, Mohoric, Van der Horn, Wellens the top five with Laporte, Dully, Meus, Jakobsen and Sturven. The last Belgian winner seven years before Benoit this year, finishing in 10th place. What, Van Aert's not even racing yet. Jombo Visma cannot stop winning to find out if they'll be in the box seat again. Make sure you tune in to GCN Plus in a week's time. The top riders of the world will be racing on the white roads of Strade Bianche.